Gwyneth Paltrow's lawyer, Mr. Owens, is going to be doing the cross-examination of Dr. Terry Sanderson, the one who said that Gwyneth Paltrow crashed into him. However, Gwyneth Paltrow is countersuing for a dollar plus lawyer's fees because she said that Terry crashed into her. Did you ever say to me? Yeah, I see who the liars are. <laughs> Hi, Coco Bean. I wrote, I'm famous because it's cool that I had a collision with a celebrity. Was that your thinking at the time? And you said yes. Do you deny it? I, not if you have it on record, no. I don't deny it. I don't remember it. But well, let's go to page 15. Can you bring that up? Move to publish the deposition. Yeah, I he said he doesn't deny it, so why are we publishing? Deposition to be published. Whoever thought it was cool that I had a collision with a celebrity. Do you recall that? Uh, yes, I guess I did say that, actually. And but that's not a true statement, is it? You have, you have said this in your deposition, true? Honestly, I don't ever remember saying it. Bring it up, but, you but can. I don't just I don't doubt you. I misspeak a lot. Okay, this is page 15, line 5 through 8. So the words I'm famous, this is my question, seem to say I think it's cool that I had a collision with a celebrity. Was that your thinking at the time? And your answer was yes, I guess, yes. Now let's go to your weight. You testified today that you were 163 and 55. True? Yes, I did. And uh, do you agree that at your deposition you told me you were 175 to 180? And five eight, yes or no? Um, yes or no? Qualified, qualified yes. No, I don't want to qualify. I can't did you tell it. me that? Like I, I said, how much do you weigh? And you said one seventy five eighty. How much did you weigh? And then you said five eight. How high are you? How tall are you? Three inches different, right? I just found that out. I didn't realize. I've had Sir, people telling me that. Honestly. You told this jury that at the time of the accident you were one sixty three and <laughs> five five. Did you not? Like two hours ago? I did. Yes. Yes. But you told me in your deposition years ago that you were one seventy to one eighty and five eight. True? How many years ago did we do this? Three I've years lost, ago. I've lost a lot of weight. I'm down to my usual weight. You know we're interested not now in your weight today. We're interested in your weight on the day. Thank you. I knew where that was Do you going. agree you were 5'8"? Yes. Have you shrunk three uh, inches? I couldn't believe it either. I, I wanted to argue because I think I'm 5'8 yet. You, have, you do so, have degenerative back disease and those, those discs are I've getting always, squeezed. Is that why? I have to say yes. I've always been 5'8 and a half and I knew I shrunk a half an inch, but wow. Mr. Sanderson, we're trying in counsel. Let's not speak on top of one another Thank so you. that we have a clear, clean record. You're right. That's right. When uh, we talked about you being unconscious, and do you agree after... after the dreams no. are crazy. Yeah, that's over vague, and that's, uh, I'll withdraw it because I, I agree that's... Not everything. Point. It's not everything. Right, right. As far as level of uh, length of unconsciousness, do you agree that uh, you, you weren't stop watching yourself? I have no idea. Yeah. And yet, you, you did tell people it varied over time. First a few seconds, then five minutes, then ten minutes. You did that, right? Do you disagree? Yes, it did vary. Do, and why did you do that? Why would you say, I don't know, then it's a few seconds, then it's five minutes, and then you told your psychiatrist at the VA it was up to 10 minutes long. Why did you change? I had no idea, and I was searching. I, I really had no idea, and I was trying to answer. I sometimes make that mistake of guessing. Bye, <laughs> Sherry. And it was to try to get the attention of the doctor. Do you remember telling me that? I don't. I, I, don't, I don't know how to. Let's find it. What's the date? Let's go to page 95. <clears throat> What's that position? One, two, three. One. They're, they're all cumulative, so the page will tell you that. Page 95, starting at uh, line 7. When you first tell your health care providers a few seconds, and then later it turned into five minutes, and then later it turned into ten minutes, do you know that you gave varying answers to people? And then whenever you can pull it up, page, page 95. Yes. The witness says, and then can we go to hey, the Hey, Diane. Now? Hey, David. Yes, I do. And that was referencing the fact I personally did not know. I was a witness to how, I was not a witness to how long I was unconscious. And so somebody told me it was. I wish I could get a copy of all the depositions. I love reading depositions. I love reading court transcripts and all that. I want to get a copy, but they're, it's really expensive to get them. It's two seconds. And somebody said. Each page could be like 15 cents. 10 seconds. 10 minutes. And so I was. I didn't know. It was hard for me to say. And then, next paragraph. It depends on my visit. If I want to make a deal out of it, and that was the reason for my visit, then I might say for 10 minutes. I might pick the worst. That's kind of how we are. We go to the doctor's attention. We, excuse me, we go to get the doctor's attention about a specific thing. And it wasn't at that point how long I was unconscious was not a point of relevance for me. That's your testimony, correct? I'm being confused by those statements. So yes or no? Uh, yes, it is. By the way, when we took your deposition, <clears throat> there's there's a lot of formality to it, too. You're placed under oath just like the one you were put on today. Yeah. Yeah. 
and uh, your counsel's present. And audio able to, you were able to talk to them before? Yes? And I think I had what, yes. seven hours or so of deposition. I can't really hear you, sir, but my, my question is you had your advice of your counsel there. Yes. And uh, I asked at the beginning of the deposition, is there any reason why you can't give me your best testimony today? And you said no, correct? Yes. And uh, I even told you, I think, that if you testified differently at your deposition, then uh, you you would in front of this jury. I Hi, call it to their attention. Do you recall this? Yes. And you took an oath, and you you then had the opportunity to make any changes to your deposition transcript. Is that true? Um, yes. And did you? No, I don't remember making any changes. I wonder, when was his deposition taken? Because, you know, um, honestly, he doesn't know how long he was out on conscience for. Like, he has no idea. Um, he could only rely on what, you know, Mr. Ramon said, his friend, right? But I honestly think he should have been like, you know what? I didn't know how long I was on conscience for. I was just ballparking it, and I have no idea. Sometimes I said five seconds, five minutes. Like, I had no fucking idea. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like he should have said that. I have no idea. I was just making up numbers. <laughs> but all I know was I was definitely in conscience because I, no, I was knocked out, and then I was slowly waking up. So that's where I came to the conclusion that I was unconscious. So he should have said he didn't know how long he was unconscious for. Changes. I think I made two with you. Oh, was it three years ago? Um, I said two corrections and, and that I remembered. Okay. And Gamer and, Dad. And you didn't make some, and uh, counsel told you, let's, let's not submit those. I haven't looked at these depositions at all. Harry, know they lost his case? How do you know? Do dispute. Did they that, say something uh, earlier? Well, I heard you call Eric Christensen. Spring, a rally instructor for 40 years, a bully. Did you say that? I did say that, yes. Oh, Eric and Christensen. He was yelling at your face. Yes. I figured out. I didn't we'll, actually know that until. And we'll meet that at we'll meet him at one o'clock. Uh, yeah, Owens is so snarky. Your rally's known, or at least puts itself out there, doesn't it, as like the most customer friendly they could possibly be. Do you agree? I agree. Have you guys ever been um, to Deer Valley? Let's go to Deer Valley. Is it expensive to go skiing there? What are the passes the like? Collision, do you know? Absolutely, they were on. Okay. Absolutely. So you do remember some things after. Yes. Okay. And uh, Craig, you. By the way, you said you weren't here for your daughters, but you haven't been here for several de several statements, right? Several, yes. It was more than just like, I don't want to make my daughters uncomfortable. You haven't been here for many. I didn't. Yeah. And uh, Sam Goldstein said part of the reason is you don't take criticism well. Do you agree with that statement? I always I always want to be a better person, and I thought I, I thought I, I even tell my kids, if I'm doing something wrong, tell me, I want to be better. All right. So do you agree or disagree with this statement? Uh, Mr. Sanderson does not take criticism well. Hard for me to measure that. I've not been around other humans as much as I have been in the past. So it's hard for me to measure that. Honestly, I don't. Do you agree that when Whitney uh, came with the toboggan, mm -hmm. she asked you what happened, and you said, I don't know. Do you agree with that statement? Um, I, if, if that's on the record, I don't disagree with it. I don't remember that particular part of our interaction. I just remember she said something to me. And that's the first question, right? Ski patroller comes up. By the way, you've hurt, hurt yourself before skiing, true? Never needing, never needing help, right? Before yes, this yeah. incident, though, you injured your knee. I had when I first learned to ski. Yeah. You don't dispute that the first thing Whitney asked you was like, "How are you?" And what happened? Do you agree? Those are like the first two questions. I have no recollection of those questions. I don't. I would think she would reach out to me, but I don't. Did you ever complain to Deer Valley about Eric Christensen? Like I was treated like a bully. I had a lot of time to think about it. Yes or no? I don't know if I did. I wasn't. I think when I contacted Deer Valley, I. I was just after I wanted to find out who hit me and I wanted to copy the records and I didn't bring it up. Yeah, you never once wrote to Deer Valley like, hey, your your uh, ski instructor is a total SOB to me. He treated me poorly. That's correct. I didn't bring it up because I did not want to cause some anger from him. I wanted to copy and find out who hit me. But seven years later, you're here saying he was terrible to me, just terrible. Uh, Ramon, Craig Ramon said, words to the effect that... Um, Brandon, hi. I don't know why the emails Ramon, come out like that. Your buddy took out Gwyneth Paltrow. Did you hear those words? I did. You personally heard them with your, so now I want to be clear because I'm not trying to confuse you. Did you hear them when you were on the ski no. slope? Uh, okay. And Ramon did not do anything to try to set the- I mean, I do believe that Eric Christensen did say your buddy took out Gwyneth Paltrow because then how else would Craig have known that it was Gwyneth Paltrow that hit his friend, right? Because he kept talking about Gwyneth Paltrow, Gwyneth Paltrow, Gwyneth Paltrow. So I do believe that part at least. The record straight at that point. Do you know anything about that? About who hit me? Correct. When we got down into the into at that medical point care. was yeah. my question on uh, the mountain yeah. on the mountain but in the shed I was okay you said your skis were on after the collision do you recall your head being downhill or yeah. uphill absolutely downhill I was going down and absolutely so several witnesses say the opposite and you disagree I disagree absolutely because I couldn't get up and where was Gwyneth's head Gwyneth's head when she came to arrest head have, down head I, up I have no idea as far as I know she didn't exist because you didn't see anything I was out I had no idea everything else is what I heard. 
did you tell Eric Christensen, according to his report, that she appeared right in front of me? Yes or no? No, no. So he just Never. made that up? Must have. Deer Valley was... just uh, uh, falsified a record. Is that your opinion? I never would have said that. I knew. Terry should have reread his deposition. Would it be uh, if it benefited his memory? Well, if he's having like, um, he's like having like old people issues, you know, like possibly like dementia, which his doctors say he doesn't, but the other, the other doctors say that he might, uh, maybe he did try to read it and, you know, it didn't really help him much. Maybe it was hard for him to remember things. Where it came from. You know, you sued Deer Valley in this claim. True. Yes, yes. Sustained. And we're not dealing with any of that today. True. We're not dealing with the, the objection. Relevance. Move to strike. Sustained. The the question is stricken in the jersey disregard. So, <laughs> Your Honor, I just want to be able Hi, to Dory. ask if, if you're willing. Is you're not suing Deer Valley today. Your Honor, objection. Third objection now. <laughs> Move to strike again. Sustained. Stricken. Okay. Disregard, please. Nice try, Owens. Nice try. No, I hear you try. saying you were going. You were flying through. Owens wants the jury to know that uh, initially he did try to sue Deer Valley Ski Resort, but then the court dismissed it. So everyone's trying to snake that in there. Chris is like, no, 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 no. Here, oh no, you here. don't. Did you say those words? Yes today? Or, yes or no? Today? Today? Today I did. No, David. Oh God, yesterday's trial was. <laughs> With regard to um, relationships, prior, oh, painful. You had two divorces, true. I did, yes. And then, uh, was it about 10 years of just dating various different other women? I guess I wouldn't know exactly. It wouldn't be unreasonable, maybe. Well, I'm just saying if the incident occurred in 2016, when was your second divorce? About 30, 10 years earlier. Years like 09 or something? 30 years ago, I'm thinking. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, uh, it's nice that Carlene, you had found a nice partner, but uh, you were not engaged. Is that true? We were not. And she was ahead. actually living hundreds of miles away from you? We went back and forth. It's three hours, four hours maybe, the most. A couple hundred miles, I think, isn't it? I don't know. St. George. Yeah, the jury is not supposed to hear we'll it. We'll move on. Thank you. Oh, it's not like the jury, uh, like, like, can, can I hear that? It's not like the jury, or like, can I hear that? Do you recall saying uh, that you agreed that saying I'm famous was a crazy thing to say? No. Agreed? Absolutely, it's not me. It's, I'm, don't buy into that. But it was you, right? Just to Unhear that, you okay. It, wasn't me. It, it was in fact you. It's the other personality that's inhabiting my body right now. And you blame Gwyneth Paltrow for that? Yes, no question. Do you recall having a kind of a stroke event like 10 years or so before the incident? Yeah, but that diagnosis has been changed. But it's an ischemic retinal occlusion? Probably due to a mind. Man, what if we have some internet randos that come out? Hey, I got the GoPro, I got the GoPro, it's here, I caught everything. And you lost your right eye in that? I lost some vision in that, I guess. And uh, that was one of the reasons you, re you retired. One of many. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, in terms of your anger, uh, do you agree you sought therapy for anger management about 10 years ago? I don't. Or 15 years ago. I guess 06, about the time of your uh, second divorce. Because if you deny it, we're going to pull it up. I don't remember that purpose, but <laughs> it, yes. Are you I, blaming I, autocorrect? I'm just seeing a <laughs> so you can't um, ask me questions, unfortunately. Sorry, thank you. All I'm, I, I'm trying to. Have you say yes or no, and then we go to documents if we need to. So do you agree that you were seeing a therapist at the VA for anger management about 10 years, even before the incident? Only, I honestly don't remember, but if you say so, I, I, I believe you. Yeah, I can't testify. Uh, so if you I dispute don't. it, then we go to the record. I and don't look at these records. I have it, 5,000 pages. So you don't dispute it? I don't. Okay. So I'm assuming they don't, they weren't able to get any of the doctors that Terry met with at the VA? And... Did you tell Shay that there was a GoPro recording? Absolutely not. Do you recall at the exact time of this event, <clears throat> going down the hill, you were sort of crossing over to the right. Does that sound accurate? No. You were always on the right? Yes. Okay, Christensen is going to testify this, uh, uh, this afternoon, so we'll talk about that. Yeah, so Christensen said Sanderson was going left, right, left, right, and he was making these really wide turns. Meanwhile, Gwyneth Paltrow was making small radial turns, I think that's what they're called. And she was just like, kind of like on the right side. Oh God, all the stories are so different. <laughs> and um, do you agree in the five seconds or so before the collision, there was a female skier, kind of beginner-ish on your left? Yes. And do you agree that you actually tilted your head to the left to sort of confirm that you weren't gonna hit her, that she would be okay? After the accident? Five seconds before the before, accident. No. Did you so testify ever? I, I saw her, what I, what I 
I don't know. What so, I remember is I always saw her. She was a little uncomfortable, and I gave her a little more room, just kind of what you do, and did passing you, on your right. And did you hit? Did you turn because of your uh, right eye is blind? No. Did you turn toward her? No reason Hey, to. Coco. Look, you did not. No. Okay, we'll pull that up in uh, probably at our next visit. How, how happy you were with her, true? I did, yes. And Woody the toboggan person. You both read it. It's pretty articulate, pretty detailed, right? <laughs> it is. You knew you were being subjected to a brain test, like a memory test. Well, I'm not. Okay, go ahead. Right? Didn't, didn't you tell us that? When she said, I want you to remember some things. Yes, oh, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, you knew you were you were being subject to a brain oh, and memory I've, test. I've never focused so hard. And you came through with flying colors, right? I did. You knew them all? I did. Remember, President Trump said they gave me five things to remember and I got them all. Do you remember this? I don't. I don't pay attention. I'm sustained. <laughs> you called her a sweetheart, and then she entertained you. And that was all really within a half hour of the incident, a half hour of the collision. Is that true? I don't remember the time frame. Carney may have been there by then. I don't know. She was helpful. But it was at the base where the toboggan went down to. Yes. That, was, uh, that wasn't, well, tell me, is that at the bottom of Deer Valley, or is that a mid-level? Mid-level, I think. I think it was mid all right. And is, oh, there, so is there a picture of you two in a wheelchair smiling? Do you remember that picture? I haven't. What happens if you're skiing and then you realize that your skill level does not match the slopes and you're like, oh, God, I can't go down. But like you've already got off the lift. What do you do? Do you just like stand there and then you like flag a ski patrol and then you like ride down with them or something? <laughs> What's going to happen? Ever? I remember seeing it, no. Shay mentioned it, that there was a picture of you and maybe- Or do you just like, do you just like ski on your butt and then just like slowly slide down with the poles? You just plowed down. <laughs> was it the Instacare? Do you remember anyone, any, any picture of you in the Instacare in a wheelchair smiling? No, I don't. Okay, and I asked you about it, and you said, I just smiled because they told me. Uh, somebody said smile. Someone said smile, and you smiled. I don't Does remember. this ring a bell from your deposition? It does not. I, okay. But that's... So you took a picture of Whitney, right? I did. Composed that very nice email with all the details, and then you sent it to your group. Probably, I don't say I composed it. I, I could have had Carlene Chow, she made it in there then. And that's what, well, you did it, though. Right, you you came up with those exact words. Carly didn't did. do that. I may have helped her. Well, she doesn't know. She grew up in Michigan. That she's uh, won the Deer Valley Collision or the Deer Valley Grand whatever <laughs> race, right? Here, let me uh, let's listen. I didn't get to this far yet. Listen. When I'd love to be able to talk about it in the context of my first. Of my, of my so you have opinions. to listen to the I'll judge. have to deal with the objection. <laughs> That's okay. That's quite all right. I will do that. Maybe we could do that over. I haven't lunch. gotten to this sure. witness um, yet. And do you have another area that you want to go into for the next five minutes? It seems like this is a good time to wrap up. If <laughs> okay. Why don't we take our recess now and then we'll return at uh, 125. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do you remember when he said it, David? Was it before this witness came on? I think he's excused. Sorry, Mr. Sykes. Do you have another minute under oath? Of NCIA. From the ski accident. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Your Honor, we call Dr. Andrew. Now before the court will be the truth, the whole truth. Got nothing here. Back to the live. That's right. All right. She doesn't know that. Do you think Carlene was present at the Deer Valley Clinic? I, I know she. No, she wasn't at the Deer Valley Clinic. No, absolutely oh, not. Okay. No. I, when, when I, I misunderstood. She that. was on her way. Do you remember Carlene didn't buy into this? Was that your quotes in terms of your? Uh, did you say those words just like an hour or two ago? Carly didn't buy into what, Ms. Jones? Do you remember saying those words? She wasn't buying into this? What was the question? It was uh, why your relationship with her deteriorated after the collision. I, I misspoke. I absolutely, absolutely, okay. I'm not sure I understand it. Okay. To be, be clear on that issue, and I realize I'm jumping around, but I'm keeping an eye on the clock. Did you, um, with regard to Carlene, it sounds like you shut it down. You shut the relationship down. Is that true? I made a very strong statement that she was going to be better off without me, yes. And you told her that? Yes. So Carlene was here a couple days ago and said, I, I, he never told me. Did you tell her? I, I had no idea I why. I told her what I said. What I said, what I, what I thought I said was, Carlene, I, you got to run. I don't want you stuck with me. And I knew you would stay by me. I know she would. 
So your next, then you started calling your daughters. It sounds like even before the I'm famous thing. Is that true? I don't remember that honestly. Uh, Shay said she took a call from you about six something. Okay. So, so about six hours later. Okay. Have you ever read her depositions? No. By the way, or Jenny's? No. I told him I wouldn't. Okay. And they, they had even expressed like, "Hey, Dad, we're we're kind of concerned because we got to talk about." You and how you were growing up and things, and we're, we're kind oh, of oh, hey, Sherry, hurt your feelings. Do you recall this? I didn't know why, but they I don't remember them telling me that. I just I decided that before. Dear Valley Hill, you take a picture of Ramon and one of the other skiers, and they're all smiles. Did you know that? Um, boy, that's a little bit, a little bit. I do kind of remember that. Uh -huh. Can you bring up the picture of Ramon? I do. Sure, yeah, I believe that did happen. And. Uh, I don't remember them being smiling. Smiles. Okay, we'll, we'll pull it up here. Okay. And do you have Apparently, there's a picture of him like in a wheelchair at when uh, he was at like the nursing station. Where's the picture though? I want to see it. Number D. It's <laughs> working. Smile. <clears throat> when you went memory of that, I really don't. I, I, I didn't. I don't remember if I had an X-ray. Like, okay. I think the physician assistant's coming tomorrow, but he wrote no no signs of confusion. Oh. Uh, do you dispute that? No. no I don't, wasn't there. I, not him. Do you agree that in your post-collision talk with Shay about six hours after the incident, you told her, I'm okay? That would be me. I, my yes. parents didn't find out I was divorced until the last day. I don't want to put them through that misery. I don't share my information. All right, so let me, I think that's a yes, but I'm going to re-ask it because we need to get it clear. At six o'clock, just hours, six hours after the collision, did you tell your daughter Shay, I'm okay? Yes? Yes. Thank you. Overruled. And then on the hill, on the hill itself with the accident, having occurred just in the prior minutes, do you agree that someone asked you, are you okay? That is absolutely beyond a doubt wrong. No one spoke to me when I was needing help. No one stopped, no one. So your testimony is Eric Christensen just sat there and looked at an unconscious man for several minutes. Is that your testimony? Yes, he never said one word to me that I recall. Like maybe when he got me up. So like I do find it hard to believe that no one would be like, are you okay? Like even when you're in a bad situation, you know that person calls it, you kind of be like, are you okay? Like doing good over there um but the thing that i thought was weird was that craig ramon said that his friend was out for two minutes two minutes in conscience and craig ramon kind of just like stood there <laughs> i'm like he didn't try to like fag someone down you know try to get your friend help he didn't check his pulse or anything like that you know like you just, just he just like he was just like spread eagle face flat into the snow and you just like stood around so that i thought was kind of weird too ramon although he did uh try to change his deposition did say that at one point you you're said, sick did you go to the okay. doctor do you dispute it i dispute it now to dispute it okay. you have to know everything you said right like i know everything i said and i didn't say it are you saying you have a perfect memory <laughs> of what you said on that hill just after the collision yes or no i knew that's, I, argumentative. that's not argumentative overruled yes or no um say yes or no please question again please. yes do you agree that uh you do not have a perfect memory of what you told others after the, in the one, two minutes, three minutes after the collision? Or do you have a perfect memory? Well, that word is so ultimate, perfect. No, right. The answer would be no, it's not perfect. Okay. So it's possible you said, for instance, Eric Christensen is going to testify, first witness this afternoon, that you told him, I'm okay. Do you dispute it? I dispute it. Okay. I never felt safe and like anybody was there to help me. And then I would he, not have said it. He's about to testify that not only he was there, but a ski patroller duo came over. One of them came over and said, do you guys need any help or words to that effect? And that you consulted with R Ramon and then said no. Do you dispute it? I absolutely would have said no. I never said safe. So I don't want to say what I would have said. I want to know if you remember. I, do you remember that? No, you, okay. I don't remember. In fact, you don't even remember that ski patrollers came by. True. No, well, neither the no, Gwyn, though. Yeah. She didn't remember either. We, no. Uh, I see 20, 20 in that eye. Did you have a cataract in that eye? I do. And that cataract's been removed yes. since the ski collision? Yes. Increasing blind in right eye. Was your left eye decreasing one year before the ski collision? Increasing in visual acuity or Sorry. In prescription? Decreasing. Was your left eye decreasing? Yes, getting less need for prescription, but not the visual acuity. Now, in addition to your stroke, you also had a, uh, your heart was not perfect. Do you agree? Before the ski collision? Perfect, of course. I couldn't agree with the word perfect, no. Palpitation, you had palpitations, agreed? Had them most of my life. 
Yeah. Okay. How many years? Forty years, probably. And what's the late term for palpitation? Is it all right? So we're going to go through all his medical it's, it's, history. It's a lot of sync that happens when I'm really tired or. If I've been on the treadmill too long or running too long and hard, then then it will get a little funny syncope. It's called PCVs. So it, your your beads off. Is that fair to say? Yeah, but it's nothing. Yeah. I notice it doesn't change. Okay, and but you were on two different uh, high blood pressure medications. Does that sound right? Yes. And that's because one didn't, one wasn't adequate. You needed both. Well, it, <coughs> we're going to his. I can explain if you want, Your Honor. This this event. Later, witness, his, later witnesses that to which this forms part of their opinion. Sure, his overall health. Yes. There's no claim that his um, his heartbeat or anything was affected by this accident. Your Honor, he says this has utterly changed his life. Yeah, just, just a minute. Um, counsel, would you approach, please? This cross-examination is not over. It's going to continue on to a different day. So keep an eye out for that one.